guys and welcome back to more seven days to die with darkness falls today we're gonna see what we can do to protect ourselves for the next horde night we had a hell of a horde night we had to literally leg it and i was this close to get my bike and just skedaddle yeah so but yeah we gotta have a look what we can do to um, improve on that and to deal with the horde i'm thinking turrets lots of turrets and fences maybe all around the perimeter to slow them down for turrets to be able to actually take um, their time to take them down loads of bullets we need to get um, brass we need to get lead this is the type of stuff we're gonna have to focus on over the next couple of in-game days and we're also gonna be talking about um, the future of seven days to die on this channel in regards to the current alpha and the future alpha. nothing serious just in general just waffle and um, yeah so that's the plan so let's have a look and start by going to the trader and sell a couple of things so i can see your inventory please brass would probably be very good and lead or bullet casing actually a lot of bullet casings would be good Shotgun shells would be good. That's 1,800. I don't have infinite amount of money. So why don't we sell these guys first? They're all here for selling. Um, I think I made a crafted two AK-47 so I can actually sell this one. Yeah, and I can sell this one. And I can sell this one. Beautiful. And I, I, am, I can sell this one and the compound bow because we have another one here. And that's it. I think that is literally everything that I brought. No, nope, we sell this one as well. Yeah, because I want to make sure that I can buy whatever I need um, for these type of things. I think shotgun shells is something that we can afford now. So let's buy a lot of them. We should definitely get the bullet casings. They're quite cheap in comparison. So let's see what we have here. Do we have... Oh, we have a crossbow. Yeah, I don't really like the crossbow. So let's um, get a couple of switches. There we go. Okay, so when it comes to resources, um, let's buy some brass as well. I know it costs 7,000 and the lead I'm going to buy as well. Um, it's going to cost 9,000. But before we do that, let's have a look here if we can find any more seeds of anything. Oh, ears of corn. Nice, because we need some seeds out of those for farming. We're going to look at the animal farming and you guys keep asking for it in the comments. I want to do it. I need to figure it out, obviously. But the problem is we need the corn. And I want to have my farm going first and we kind of had to do the horde night So we had a bit of a hiccup there. We needed to wait for um, The farm to grow first. So let's have a look here butchering tools come I don't really need this Um, yeah, let's buy all the nine millimeter rounds if we can I think we should be okay and these as well Excellent and the last thing we're gonna get is all the lead There we go. That's nine thousand. So yeah, we spent a lot of money But we have a lot of resources now that should allow us to make a lot of bullets a lot of action Can we see if we have bullet casings bullet tips? There we go. Look at that Very nice. I like it and we're gonna get the casings as well beautiful every now and then we come across a beautiful cow But we want to take care of it to actually see if uh, it drops a bag To drop a bag no um, these guys when they drop bags, it's just like with the boar. Um, I think we have a chance of getting a female um, Version of that, that we can place into our animal farm. So that's why I killed her um, So that we can basically have a farm where she's included. So let's take care of some nests as well we Can never have enough fat. Oh, whoa, 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 look at that. I'm loving this. Oh nice limbs are flying Nice, okay, whoa Dude, chillax. Excellent. I love it. Holy crap, I just saw trees falling and look at that. That is insane. Wow, okay. Feral infected. Holy crap, it's like a feral horde. Look at that. That is insane. Okay, I'm missing everybody. Why am I missing every... Okay, that's it. I can't do this. I'm missing everybody. I don't have a gun on me. Okay, let's do this. Oh, wow. A feral horde. Why would there be a feral horde this early in the day? Okay. That happened. Holy balls. That was intense. I even have a broken leg or something. Okay, we have some loot here at least. That's good. What do we have here? Pistol notes. Yeah, we can scrap them. Scrap that. Scrap that. Keep that. Excellent. 
Okay, upgrading these guys finally got me close to completing this uh, quest. So let's do this. Let's do one more. It's upgraded. Excellent. Whew. And now we can destroy it again, which is grand. So the laborer class, what do we have to do? Gather iron, gather wood, gather leather, gather scrap iron, fire axe. We can actually do that. So let's actually complete this and then, oh, hello. There we go. Good zombie. Every dead zombie is a good zombie. So let's uh, let's take that. Okay, that's just scrap, scrap. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so let's get the elevator. Let's call the elevator. And we're gonna have a look at turrets now in a minute. Uh, what we need to build them, but I want to get that laborer class completed as well. That would actually help. Did we get anything? No. No, we didn't. Um, unless we got the leather, but we have leather six. I think we can get the rest from here. There we go. One, two, three, four. And now gather scrap iron fire axe and scrap iron pickaxe. Okay, we just can scrap iron fire axe. There we go. We just craft that and scrap iron pickaxe. Beautiful. It's a bit weird when you do some of these quests later because you have to go back and craft all that old stuff, like, which is really weird. Um, but hey, we're going to complete this now, which is good. And that unlocks the next quest. There we go. Beautiful. What do we need to do now? Gather small stone. Okay, clay soil. Yeah, we actually have loads of that. So we might as well complete this now. Look at that. There we go. We have clay soil. Um, stone. There we go. Might as well actually keep a couple of them on me. Gather leather. More leather. Okay. So we have more leather here. There you go. And gather short iron pipes. We have short iron pipes. Excellent. There we go. Beautiful. I like it. Gather bellows, gather forge, place forge. Okay, so we already have a forge and we have to place it. So I think I have a bellow. Do I have a bellow already? Actually, I know we have forges that we took from the other. No, I didn't. I took them. I thought I took them. Okay, I mustn't have. Um, well, in that case, let's craft all the shenanigans. Let's craft a bellow. What do we actually need to craft a bellow again? Bellows. Okay, wood, leather, iron, and uh, iron pipe. There we go. Let's do that. Let's get a little bit of wood, uh, a little bit of leather, I mean. And now we can place a craft a bellow. Craft a bellow. Gather a forge. Okay, so here we go. Make a forge. All we need is some clay. There we go. And now we're just waiting for the bellows, which is finished now. Okay, excellent. There we go. Beautiful. We're going to make the forge and then we're going to place the forge only to destroy it again because we have these big forges here anyway. I hope we don't have to make another big forge and then place it. It should be saying, hey, I already done this game. You know that. You know I've done it. You were there. The game was there. There we go. Excellent. Now we can pick it back up while we wait for the next quest to trigger. Okay, so six out of six. Um, craft iron reinforced club. Well, we or oh, gather iron reinforced club. That is good because we can do that after we pick up the forge. There we go. Um, do I not have an iron reinforced club already here? That, oh, that's a titanium club. Yeah, so we have melee weapons here, I think. So one of them is my old club. Here we go. Excellent. There we go. Beautiful. All right, guys, um, I try to do this now four times. Every time a horde comes or whatever interrupts us, then I lose my trail of thought. Then I don't know what I'm talking about because I'm trying to talk about Alpha 17, Alpha 18, Seven Days to Die on my channel, and I keep getting interrupted. So I finished upgrading my base to Madonna Boobix tent. Um, we're going to have to put some f electronic fences around everything, and we're going to have to uh, work out the turrets. And turrets are going to be difficult. In the next episode, we're going to be gathering a lot of materials for those resources and um, that we need because we don't have enough. And then we're gonna start working on getting turrets. And we're gonna have to do a couple of houses as well because I think we need some weapon parts which we can find in some of the POIs. So we're gonna have to look at that as well. Anyway, in the meantime, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about Alpha 17 and then that will probably be the end of the episode. First of all, questions always coming up. Why am I not doing a video every day? I have a new job and um, it requires me to actually um, finally in my new job i'm actually doing what i want to do um i'm back being a software engineer and i'm working with technology i really enjoy working with so i want to get very good at it so i'm doing a lot more training i'm doing a lot more documentation reading i stay longer and work at times and i try to focus on that part of my life more so hence i'm not able to make videos every day simple as that 
it's nothing to do with seven days to die however because of that i'm gonna drop war of the walkers because if i can only make one or two episodes a week of seven days to die i don't want it to be two different things okay because i want progress so we're gonna stick with darkness falls for a while longer yes we're gonna work out how to do the animal thing which i need some resources for which i don't have yet and, and we're gonna work that out anyway the other thing is why am I not playing only seven days to die? The question always comes up. Hey, if you would post seven days to die twice a day, every day, um, you wouldn't make a lot of money. Yeah, and people love it. You know, why don't you do that? I mean, do you not like money? And it's like, well, do you know what? In Alpha 16, I had so much fun playing seven days to die. I did it and I had so much fun. I played it nearly twice a day, every day. And I neglected a lot of things like my work life, balance, health, balance life. I ignored my family a lot more. So it was very unhealthy, actually. And I made a lot of money. But it got to the point that the sacrifice was nearly worth it because we got to a point of making so much money for me, so much money, not for a lot of people but for me it was enough to look at it saying hey if this continues for the next three months i can make uh, that my living i can actually focus on this and make seven days to die my main thing three videos a day I'm, I'm, it's gonna be amazing i have fun playing it you know but then alpha 17 came along i stopped having fun playing it the base game for me alpha 17 is complete nonsense alpha 17 looks amazing it has a lot of things that it did that it did right and that are really really fun but overall alpha 17 on horde night is no more fun for me yeah by, ba by base design zombies are too intelligent if you go watch clock's video from last night horde night every night it was a lot of fun to watch he did really well but you could see the prime examples why horde night zombies are shit because they literally ignored all the straps they ignored everything and went for the one spot where the, which they thought was the weakest and 20 zombies pounded down one part of the base went through there then focused on another weakest point of the base that's not zombies that's not horde night that's chess you want to play chess and you want to build a base where you can go well i think now i have outwitted the zombies i can take uh, my time and stand right here on the spot and shoot them all down but when they get to me i just jump down over here and make them walk all the way back while i kill them yeah well that's amazing good good fun for you if that's fun for you great good for you but um i enjoy when i have to have a dynamic horde night where i have to think about every minute what's happening not just think about building a base and then wait and see what happens but i have to during the horde and actually use my brain a lot more because we now have spitters they shoot at me i have to take them out first then we have crawlers i have to make sure i deal with them if they get in i have normal zombies which are dumb as balls so i have to lead them around my traps to make sure they die if i don't have enough ammunition to shoot at them now you're saying hey get good it's probably just because you find it easy not at all i actually would prefer if there would be so many zombies that i can't deal with it like last horde night in darkness falls and what i like though about it is i want the challenge to come from the zombies not from all the zombies the base zombie should be stupid as shit yeah he just stands here below you and we'll just watch you until morning comes that's it yeah but then you have the spitter then you have the climber there's the spider zombie then you have the screamer yeah then you have um the the zombie that is on fire which actually does nothing except being on fire but um and setting you on fire when it gets to you but he should be doing something like i don't know shoot fireballs at your base or something like you know and set your base on fire and you have to actually literally deal with that so why don't they do the challenge that like that what they did instead is they made all zombies smart removing the need to make any zombie really beyond special or new or add new zombies the need to add new zombies now i know they add new zombies in alpha 18 or, the, or after that but that should have been really what they should have done instead and only update the eye a little bit they should have fixed the rotation problem they should have fixed the pathing problem in the sense of ignore like they should have stayed the same way as now for 16 but just fix the rotation i think and they should have added more unique zombies like maybe you have a zombie which can jump literally 15 blocks high and land right in your base add a behemoth zombie it doesn't have to be a behemoth from the sides just call it behemoth make it a normal small zombie but this zombie will one shot any block unless it's steel it will five shot it yeah so that is your dynamic then in horde night which means first of all all zombies coming from this side will attack this side of the base all zombies coming from this side will attack this side of the base now you have to worry about multiple sides you have to make sure your traps are there because they will walk through traps because they're idiots yeah so they will walk through traps but are the traps enough will they be weak enough by the time they get to the center that you can take them out all this is really exciting to me but just sitting here knowing that half of my traps are not going to be getting any action because well in this setup maybe they will but in a general base setup like this they will not get any action because they just go for the one point and once one path through the traps are cleared i can stand where i want they will always go through that cleared path that to me is not exciting but anyway alpha 18 will i play alpha 18 absolutely the moment i get access to alpha 18 i will stream it i will be i'm very excited for it i'm just not announcing the excitement the reason is i was way too excited for alpha 17 and it turned out to be a disappointment for me overall 
um, in general, there was a lot of things I liked, like I said, but overall, it still was not good for me, yeah? Um, also, another thing, they removed a lot of the learning by doing these type of things are cool, okay? I keep shooting a bow. Every time I keep shooting a bow, it gets experience and it levels up. My technique in bow shooting levels up and I do more damage. I, sh I shoot faster. That's what it's all about. Action games, yeah? Sorry, not action games. Survival games. You learn survival by doing repeatedly the same thing yeah shoot a bow a hundred times you get better at it shoot a gun a hundred times you get better at it i'm not talking reality i'm talking in a survival game you learn by surviving you don't learn by going here and saying huh i want to learn how to shoot a a40 kk47 well i just assigned myself the perk there you go i learned it no you have to pick one up shoot it and get better at it yeah and um, that to me is again a different type of challenge which i enjoy more than what we have right now in the moment yeah half of the perk system is redundant to me in vanilla because it's just you giving you points to magically teach you things you should be learning by things half of this stuff here parkour learn it through jumping every time you jump it increases your jump experience eventually unlocking these things every time you heal yourself and you run low on health you uh, get a better uh, resistance to health every time you uh, you replenish your stamina you get a better resistance every time you run you get a better resistance to stamina loss things like that so eat healthy gives you more health eat different type of foods gives you a bigger resistance to infection that makes sense clicking a button assigning a point does not yeah so like increased damage with bows and weapons that's a nice add-on for a perk because you now reached it but you should never rely on it perk points should not be the decider for that anyway they should be just there to complement in the company anyway enough waffle about this i now said that twice alpha 18 because of that because of the way i was disappointed with alpha 17 i'm taking alpha 18 head on i heard a lot about it which would be interesting which i'm looking forward to and i can't wait to play it and i'm really excited for it and all, th all fingers crossed and that it's gonna be um, standing up because otherwise then we're gonna have to play everything else except seven days to die or wait for the mods the mods will always be coming to the rescue the mods will always be making the game the way i enjoy playing it which is gonna be great and i hope modding will become easier for the modders because right now to do something like undead legacy or darkness falls they have a lot of hell to go through to make these mods work the way they do because the game is not easily moddable moddable um once you get past the basic um, level of modding. So from what I heard anyway. So we leave it here, a lot of waffle in the end, but people asked, they kept asking, am I excited for Alpha 18? Will I play Alpha 18? What do you think of Alpha 17? Why am I not playing Alpha 17 so much? There you go, that answered all the questions. I hope it answered everything. And yes, next episode, we're gonna have less waffle, more action, but I'm gonna leave this here, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode anyway. And next episode, we're gonna go on a big grind for resources to build the turrets. And we're gonna have to decide what points to put the turrets on. Let me know what you think. We might actually put them on some random standing pillars that they won't attack or we're just gonna put them actually on the inside of the pillars like pointing down something like that i don't know yet you let me know if you have any ideas where they would be well positioned and where they would be good uh, good useful because definitely this here is my killing chamber where everything will be happening so it probably makes sense to have it somewhere around here and maybe something as well here with machine guns for um rabbit birds you know these little pests like fly around with their wings and infect the nature anyway but that's it i hope you guys still had a good time and i see you guys next time